it is you human. You are finally... awake? Is that so? You have been sleeping for... quite a time now. Hmm. I was just reading some human literature, and I think your books are so interesting, especially when you imagine that there are other planets out there, and yet there are. Wonderful. You have amazing imaginations, yet you have yet to see such wondrous places. Exactly. Anywho, welcome to the wormhole. What is the wormhole? Yes, well it appears that you went on a mission to check out Area 51 to see if there were alien life forms that you humanoids were hiding. Yes, and it appears that you went there, but you went the wrong direction. Mm-hmm, looks like your Google Maps did not find the right location, but it led you to our gate before the wormhole. Yes, indeed. I myself am Alien Lifeform 389. I am from a planet far away from here. Yes, indeed, I do look human, but that is because in our planet and our district of the universe, we have something similar to your humanoid uh, electronic video game life form, Ditto, from the Pokemon franchise. Therefore, every time we go to a different universe, a different galaxy, and a different planet, we have the ability to transform into your kind of people and look similarly to those that look like you. Yes, indeed, we are alien, but that does not make us different. Now, it looks like you wanted to see aliens, and it is a pleasure to meet you, as I am alien life form. My name on this planet, however, it appears to be Selene, for that is my human name. What is your name? Wow! That is a fun one. I have never heard a name like that before. On our planet, we have different names, different ways to speak, and many different types of aliens and people that we like to talk with. Therefore, on this planet, in order to meet people, I think you also shake hands. Is that correct? Absolutely. Then it is a pleasure to meet you. Wow, I have never shaken a hand before, for this is the first time at my job at the gate before the wormhole. Yes, I am a beginner, so this is my first time here seeing an actual humanoid at the wormhole. Now, I have been working here for roughly around 150 human years, but it appears that that is a long time for human people. But for me, this is my first job ever. Therefore, this is a short period of time for myself to be here. On our planet, we age differently, for we have different types of sun-like stars that revolve around our galaxies. Therefore, we have different aging cycles, and I get to keep this body the way that it is, because, as I said prior, we are like the Pokemon Ditto, and we do not age. We can just keep our shape and or transform. Yes, it is a lot like a imaginary situation for you humanoids, which is quite lovely to think about. As well, for us aliens, I did my look like this because I went on your local search engine, known as Google, and I searched up what you humanoids cosplayed as aliens to look like, 
and it looked kind of like this, where you put stars or jewels that shine around the eye forms and hair in something called space buns, which I appreciated highly. It made me smile looking at your search histories. As well, you humanoids tend to think aliens like a lot of color, like green or pink or blue, to which we do, but in our galaxies, we also have different types of color spectrums that you humanoids are not able to see, such as ultraviolet rays. Yes, it is a color and a vision to us. It is quite lovely on our different planets, and as well, you humanoids recently have been looking to go towards an area known as Area 51 to see alien life forms. Yes, you guys made a lot of memes and or joking relations to real life situations that could be possibilities. Yes, us aliens found those humorous as well, and we decided to not participate and to have you humanoids continue to make jokes as they made us laugh as well. I'm glad you are all enjoying it too, but it appears for you that you actually went to the right location by hazard on accident. Isn't that correct? Yes, it appears that your Google map took you to the right place and not the wrong place. Yes, and we found you there passed out, which also was a symptom of the gate before the wormhole that would take you to see actual alien life forms. And here you are right now. In fact, humanoid, how do you feel? Yes, I understand. It can be quite tiresome, especially after passing out in a hot human desert. When was the last time that you ate humanoid? Mm-hmm. That is quite a while for you humans to not eat. We will get you food once you go through the wormhole, but we prefer to keep you a little famished before the wormhole travel, as it is very speedy. And if you travel at that type of speed, kind of like how you humanoids have a fake way of saying, do not swim after you eat unless you get a stomach ache, for us truly, if you eat before traveling through the wormhole, you will get space sick. And it is not fun. As I am young and new to this job, I made that mistake the first time I was going to a different planet. And I had a lot of intergalactic goo escape my body from different ports. Therefore, I am going to tell you to not eat before. But there will be food provided for you on our planet, as this is our gate before the wormhole that would take you to a different planet. Now, in this planet, you might not fit in right away, but we will teach you the ways to fit in to our alien life forms. And in this place, you, in fact, will be the alien. But we always allow aliens into our locations because we identify with different life forms beyond our soul and brain capacities as we are all living and breathing human beings for you. And as we, we are living breathing alien beings and there is nothing different between our type of people as we breathe eat sleep smile and laugh just like you life forms do except we do it in different tongues in different looks and in many different fashions and ways but you will learn the way as you have wanted to now i am assuming before i continue I have to give you a space checkup before I allow you to go to the wormhole and to our different planet. And this is for medical purposes, so you do not give our space people space sicknesses from different places. Yes, it is quite like that exact similar situation, but for us, 
Space disease is our serious to us because we want to keep our locations very clean and very illness free because we want to keep our populations safe and all of the aliens and all of our people safe as well because our safety is your safety and space travel is only one part of it your health and others health is another part are you okay with continuing wonderful now do you have anything on this earth that you would like to keep with you before you travel though you do have the availability to come back to this planet the time and date will be completely different when you come back to earth but I am assuming, as you are very tired and are hard of speaking right now, as well, knowing that you traveled that many miles to go to Area 51, that in this case, you have already packed the things that you would like to take with you to see aliens with. Is this correct? Wonderful. As well, I know you, alien, humanoid, life forms, love social media and we have fun things like that too on our planet and we as well have electronic devices though your friend group might be different the jokes are funnier and better than the ones in the human life form and i can say that with full certainty and you will get a taste of that the moment you hit our human and alien interaction life forms on our planet how does that sound? Wonderful. Now, before we continue, I have my box that I have filled with alien precautionary medical testing things so that before you travel through our wormhole, and as this was noted before, we are at the gate before the wormhole, that I let you pass the medical test. If I reject you, I will ask you to go home where you will then forget about our interaction because of our alien human connection. And trust me, you will forget. I promise you, there is also no cell phone service right here at the gate before the wormhole, so you cannot try and even contact anyone right now about our experience but if i let you pass with flying colors you will remember this experience while going to our new planet great i'm glad you understand the agreement so now for our little medical properties i am first going to ask you for simple information about you and I'm going to write it down on a journal book. Yes, us aliens use journal books with writing materials as well. Though we have different features, we prefer to use writing as one of our main capacities as written down literature and writings last a lifetime if treated properly. So first, I would like to get your name written down fully. Wonderful. Now, what is your human height? Mm -hmm. And that is in wonderful. You humans have different measuring systems, which is what is very confusing to us alien life forms, but it is completely understandable as your countries are separated. And anywho, do you have any family members here on Earth, or are you the only one? Wonderful. And do you floss and brush your teeth? regularly, that being twice a day. Yes, we know that you humanoids have a tough time flossing, even though that is the health 
and wealth of your body as well, yet you seem to neglect it often, which is understandable because you humanoids take pleasure more than you like to take time. This as well is a signification of your health rating, therefore it will be jotted down and remembered for the future. Next things up, how often do you like to shower? Wonderful. And when you do shower, do you always use shampoo and or conditioner? Great. This is also another thing for our cleanliness ratings and will be taken into consideration for our medical practices. Next up, do you believe in zodiac signs and that there are different life forms out of here? Mm -hmm. Yes. That is fully understandable, as it is Leo season, and you will learn the truth about zodiac signs once you get onto our planet, as I do not want to have spoilers here before you, next to the wormhole at the gate. Is that understandable? Wonderful. I am glad that I am understood. Anywho... The next thing that I want to do is to perform some things onto you in order to get it sent in quick to see if our medical records would let you pass through the gate to the wormhole to our planet. May I do that? Wonderful. Now, in here, it is a small box, but do not be misinformed, as this box carries very good medical procedures to test to see if you can carry any alien diseases to our planet. And the first thing that we're going to do is I am going to clean your face for facial cells to see if you carry any facial bacteria with you that could harm our life forms. Now, I have a cotton round here. May I brush your face for cells to see if you carry any facial bacteria. Thank you for allowing me to rub your face with this cotton round. I will go gentle on your forehead first, and I'm just going to wipe, 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 wipe. And now around your cheek areas, I'm going to swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. And on this side now, swoosh swish swish now around the chin we're going to sweep and sweep and around the nose now we're going to slide swish sweep and go around thank you for the facial cell collection this will be put on the side for now the next thing that i want from you would be to pluck an eyebrow hair and an eyelash hair. Would that be a possibility for me to do as well? This might hurt a little bit. Perfect. Thank you for allowing me to sample your hair. Now, I would like to get an eyebrow hair first. So please, this might hurt a little bit. I'm just going to grab one, pinch, and pluck. Thank you so much. We have this now. Now, this will be sent into our very quick, rapid, medical center and we will hear back from them very soon after I collect all the pieces of information from your body. Now I'm going to put it in a small little news folder. Letter container. Put the hair in there. Wonderful. Now I am going to get an eyelash from you. So please close your eye. I will make this as quick as possible. I'm going to grab an eyelash and pluck. Thank you so much. I know you might be crying right now, but it is only temporary, as pain is always only temporary. And I'm going to put it in the little letter folder as well. Next, I'm going to close the letter folder, just like so. 
it even already has an alien galactic stamp on it and I'm going to put it through a small letter wormhole directly going to our medical center as I'm going to put it in right now we will hear back from them in a little bit seeing if you pass what I would like to do now though is I would like to talk to you about devices that you humans have already had that could take you to other alien worlds. Yes, you humans have two, 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 two different things that could have taken you to different alien worlds to see different aliens. Yes, indeed, they are also recent creations. The first thing I would like to show you that I personally found in one of your so-called vintage antique stores was a hit clips. Yes, indeed, the 1999 made hit clips. This was one of the transportation devices, but it was not any song that could have taken you to a different planet. It was only the song made by NSYNC known as Bringin' De Noise. No, I am not joking you here. This is actually an alien transportation device as it was a one-of-a-kind piece hit of information, an electronical device that renovated the idea of portable music. Yes, portable music in small sizes. If you played the song and listened to it all the way through and imagined a different world, it could transport you anywhere, which is so silly that you humanoids never took up that opportunity. The next thing I would like to show to you that took you to a different world and also had you take care of an alien life form were Tamagotchi devices. Again, I am not pulling your leg here. Tamagotchi devices helped you create and build alternative electronical world connections with electronical animals. Yes. They are actual life forms, and if you played it correctly, you could have gotten transported to Tomatown directly, where you would have become a Tamagotchi just like them. Yes, indeed, this is also a Tama house where Tamagotchi eggs like to sleep in and live in the most just like in Tomatown, where, again, if you play the Tamagotchi correctly and had them live their perfect life, it would have transported you to their world. Yes, indeed, this is exactly like a gate in front of a wormhole as we are right now. And I just heard from my galactic sensor that we have news to see if you have passed your medical tests before entering the gate to the wormhole to our planet and I'm going to see right now if you are able to come. Now they sent it back in a letter form and I will find out right now if you have passed. If you do not pass you will fall asleep again and wake up back in your car near Area 51 and you will think to yourself that you traveled and just got dehydrated by not buying enough water on your way down here. And if you do pass, you will wake up in our medical facility being rid of our, of your, excuse me, I'm saying our as I have been in human world for quite a while now of your humanoid bacteria, and then you will be let into our world. Wonderful. I am glad you humanoids understand this concept. Now, it turns out that your results for entering are 